This video is part of an online course of multivariable calculus and I'm going to talk about cylindrical coordinates. So we can locate a point by Cartesian coordinates x, y, z or we can locate the points by coordinates r, theta and z. So what are r, theta and z? r, theta and z are just basically cylindrical coordinates so this is cylindrical coordinates and it is like a polar coordinate but it has one extra uh, coordinate z so r and theta here would be exactly like the polar coordinate like polar with an extra coordinate z okay so if i want to um, show it to you what is the cylindrical coordinate i'm gonna graph x y and z okay and then assume that p is a point in the space with the coordinates x y and z okay so this is the cartesian coordinate and now I'm gonna say that z is basically the height of the point so this is z so z is the distance from the point p to the x y plane so z is the distance from the point to x y plane which is basically the height then we have r and theta that are exactly like the polar coordinates so we're going to find the projection of p into x y plane and then, so just assume that this is that. Then this is R. The same thing, R is also here. And theta is the angle from the positive x-axis. So let me write this. R is the distance from z-axis. So you see that the R here from the projection to the origin that we um, usually describe it as R in polar coordinate, it would be the same thing as the distance from the point to the positive Z axis. And then theta would be the angle from positive X axis, counterclockwise, counterclock okay so one more time if we have the point p in the space then this distance would be z the distance from the point to the x y plane which is basically the height the third coordinate and then the distance to the positive z axis would be called r exactly like polar coordinate and the angle here from the positive z x axis to r would be theta so if you are given the point x, y, and z, how can we find r, theta, and z? Well, r would be like polar, would be x squared plus y squared. Theta is defined as the tan of theta would be y over x, and z would be the third coordinate of the given point. Now, if you are given r, theta, and z in cylindrical coordinate, what is the relation between x, y, and z. So I can define x as r cosine theta, y I can define it as r sine theta, and z is also z. You see that? It is polar, definition of the polar coordinate with an extra axis. Now, the question is, why is it called cylindrical coordinate? So let me give you a note. Why is it called 
cylindrical coordinate cylindrical coordinate well it is like that so look at r equals to some number a okay then r as a definition would be r squared would be x squared plus y squared so x squared plus y squared would be equals to a square which is a circle of radius a right and now in r3 if I, if i want to graph this shape in r3 z is free and that's why r equals to a would be all the points all the points with distance with distance a from the z axis so as you see it would be a cylinder let me graph it so that make sure that you understand it this is x axis then i have y axis and i have z axis so r equals to a in r2 would be a circle of radius a and then so this is when z is free z can be any point okay so z can be anything so that's why i get a cylinder for example x square um for example r equals to three in the cylindrical coordinate would be x square plus y square equals to nine which is a circle of radius three in x y plane but if I want to graph it in R3, Z is free. That's why I get a cylinder. That's why it is called cylindrical coordinate. Okay. Now let me give you two more examples to see some shapes. So in cylindrical coordinate, in cylindrical coordinate, what is Z equals to three? I'm going to give you some time to think about this while I'm graphing the axis. X, Y, and then Z, okay? So Z equals to 3 in cylindrical coordinate would be all the points uh, with the height 3, right? And R and theta are free. So I would get just a plane, right? We just move this one a little bit so that you see we get a plane at z equals to 3 okay this plane in here would be equation of z equals to 3 and r and theta would be free so theta can be from 0 to 2 pi and r can be from 0 to infinity that's why we get the whole plane how about if we have theta equals to for example pi over 4 going to give you some time to think about this okay so i have this so theta by the definition in cylindrical coordinate would be the distance uh, i'm sorry would be the angle from the positive x-axis so this angle counterclockwise would be pi over four and then as you see um when theta is equal to pi over 4, then r and z are free. So we get uh, all the points with, uh, with different heights, and um, r can be anything. So I just get a plane like this, right? Let me make it a little better because visualization is very important in here so hopefully it's better not that much <laughs> okay let me change it so it is i think it's better so i get this plane in here and um this is theta equals to pi over four 
and it's actually a half plate, right? Okay, so on the next video, we're going to see how to use cylindrical coordinates in double integral.